mountain biking. It's a thrilling sport, flying through the woods on two wheels, catapulting over rocks, and swerving around trees. And in recent years, more and more people are giving it a try. Here in the Moosehead region, a grassroots group is building an extensive trail system for this growing sport. The hope is that it will entice new visitors to the region. At Destination Moosehead, our chamber, the second most requested activity is uh, where can you bike. Chuck Wagenheim is the president of Moosehead Outdoor Alliance, a nonprofit organization that's been working for years to develop top quality mountain biking trails in and around Greenville. The idea began as a discussion between two friends. Seven years ago, a good friend of mine who's the vice president of Moosehead Outdoor Alliance, Henry Gilbert, wanted to take me on some what he called mountain bike trails in the area. We took a ride and I'd say 80% of it was on posted land and private land. And I said, Henry, these are your private trails. Nobody else can use them. He said, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. I said, well, we need some public trails that everybody can use. The project has three phases. In 2022, they built between three and four miles of beginner trails near Gravel Pit Pond. That network is called Moosehead Junction Trails and is already open for riding. Phase two of the project began this summer. Work crews focused on the south side of Little Moose Mountain, cutting some more challenging trails. Right now we're working on the Black Diamond downhill. Um, the first half of it is really like feature driven. There's a lot of berms, drops off like big rocks. Um, and then it, it has a little bit of everything. The terrain that we're in is just so good that the, the trail that we're laying down is I'm super excited about. The trails are all being built on state owned land. It's a really beautiful site, but that being said, there's a lot of rocks here, a lot of big, big slabs of rock. And it's, it's not the easiest to get an excavator up through a lot of these spots, but we've made our way through. Yeah, it's hard work for sure. Using machinery rather than just hand tools allows the crews to build more sustainable trails that resist erosion. So with a machine built trail, it's definitely going to be a lot more sustainable because you can dig out all the organic materials and add the mineral materials as far as gravel, you know, sand, loam, and then, you know, you can create bigger drainages, you can move bigger rocks, you can create better upslope and a downslope to help channel the water off of the tread of the trail to make it more sustainable. Phase three will be to create trails on the north side of the mountain. The end goal is to build 25 miles of trails on and around Little Moose Mountain which, counting old trails, would create a playground of about 35 miles of state-of-the-art trails constructed specifically for mountain biking. Now Maine has gotten uh, kind of on the map as a real destination mountain bike area. Um, Bethel has a great trail system, Carabasset Valley, Millinocket, uh, Topsom's got a uh, pump track, Portland's, Portland's got a ton, Gorham's got a great trail system. Rodney Folsom, an avid mountain biker who grew up in the Moosehead region, moved back with his family in 2020 and is excited about what the trails will mean to local families. We think it's going to be a big benefit to get the youth in the community riding. We'd like to incorporate uh, our trails with the school system, uh, maybe eventually get some kind of gear exchange where we uh, local kids can get a, use, uh, a bike to use for the season and, and change it out and then get their parents involved as well. For Folsom, the activity brings him back to when he was a boy, biking the gravel roads of Beaver Cove. I went for a ride in the rain about a couple of weeks ago, and I was doubting going, and, and it was just pouring rain five minutes into my ride, but I kept riding, and it, it just felt, it's just, you feel like a kid. It's just so fun. Like many outdoor activities, mountain biking can be a lifelong passion. I have a 10-year-old granddaughter who's been riding mountain bikes for three, four years, and we ride together all the time, so it's a great activity between multi-generational ages. Considered a niche sport, mountain biking has grown dramatically in recent years. According to the Sports and Fitness Industry Association, nearly 9 million people in the U.S. took a bike off-road in 2022, a jump from about 7 million in 2007. With the creation of more trails, especially easy, smooth trails, the sport has become more accessible. In addition, there are now more opportunities to rent bikes for people who want to give it a try before investing in any equipment. I just think it appeals to people who want to be outdoors in an activity that you can take at your own pace. You don't have to go, everybody's not going to jump off rocks and go over. 
you know, go fast around berms, but if you want that, we're going to have it. Loosehead Outdoor Alliance isn't the only group working to improve biking in the area. The town of Greenville and the Appalachian Mountain Club are too. We see the future very, very bright here. And our job right from the start was to build a destination mountain bike community here. And we want people to come up and enjoy it.